bang. So, a year ago, Daredevil graced our Netflix screens, as we may say. And it was really enjoyable. The series was really good. I mean, it was good cinematography, good story. They did the character justice for once. But how does season two hold up? Well, it has its ups and it has its downs. It is still very, very good, as I, as is expected with these Netflix Marvel shows. But there is a few little nitpicks which I need to cover in this review. So, returning from the first season, we have Charlie Cox as Matt Murdock, we have Deborah Ann Wall as Karen Page, and we have Eldon Henson as Mr. Foggy Nelson. Now, what they did with, with Matt was quite good, because well, it was just a bit too similar from the first season. Where it's just like, oh, you're being a hero, but we don't like you for being a hero. That's kind of like the impression you get from his friends. It's a bit... It's a bit hit and miss with a the story there. I do wish they'd do a bit more with Foggy. I mean, like, he has some really good moments in this season, but he's just kind of let down a bit. Like, he has a really good um, scene in the court where he, he's saying this emotional story. Like, it's one of the shining moments for a character. But we just never really see much of him. Like, towards the end, it's just not... He's, not, he's just mentioned a little bit, like, oh, he appears, like, only a few times. It's kind of a waste of a bit of a character, I think. I would like to see less of a Karen stuff, in a way, though. Like, I'd like to see more Foggy and less Karen, like, even out a bit more. Because Karen always... Karen is, like, the second main character, in a way. It's kind of annoying. But, like, mostly it follows her. I'd rather see Foggy. I'd rather see a bit more Foggy than Karen. Or at least, like, even it out. Obviously... You get enough Daredevil there, but he's the main star of the show. So, a big selling point for this season was the introduction of Frank Castle, aka the Punisher, and Elektra, who's just Elektra, I'm not going to try and say a second name, um, played by John Burfall, I believe, and Elodie Young. I really liked what they did with the two characters. I always liked the way how Punisher was also the opposite of Daredevil, like in terms of morals and such and Electra was kind of like an in-between thing I did like how like both of the characters worked but I, I think the problem I had with it was the story focused more on Electra in the end and I'm not I know it's personal preference I would have liked to know more about like the Punisher thing because the Punisher is introduced as the main villain for like the first four episodes but then like after that once Electra's introduced he's kind of He's taken a back seat. It's a bit like Foggy. He's been taken a back seat, and he only just shows up at the end. It's just like, well, you've kind of wasted the character a bit. You could have done so much more. Like there's answers which need to be solved about his, like his family de death and stuff. I want to know the answers, but obviously I'll have to wait till season three or anything like that to find out. But besides that, I think we were both like really good representations of the character. Especially um, John Burfall. I think he did amazing as Frank Castle. <laughs> now, with Daredevil, there was some returning characters from the first season. Mainly Claire and Stick. Now, Claire was less of a main character this time. She was just more of a person there who helps Matt in a way, but she was just never really as interesting as she was in the first season. Like, she didn't play as much as a role, but with Stick, that is where it gets interesting. I loved, like, finding out all about his backstory and what he did and stuff. It, like, you find out he trained Electa, Electa, Electra, there we go. Jesus, I can't talk today. It, it was just very, it was, um... I don't know the word to say. It was just quite enjoyable to find out more about his past and stuff. And also, he is a complete badass. I mean, a blind guy who kills people without, like, training or special chemicals in his eyes or anything. A bit like Daredevil. No, that, that takes skill. He's just such a cool character. Now, on to the story. 
I don't think it worked as well as season one. For the main reason, season one, we knew where it was going to go up to. It was Daredevil taking down Wilson Fisk, who does appear again. I totally forgot to mention that. Um, yeah, that's how important he is in the thing. He's just like, eh, I'm here. I'm still here. Hello, I'm in prison. It's just, eh. But the story wasn't as good, because you're following two different stories here. You're following the Punisher's one and the Electra one, like I said before. And I would have much preferred to see the Punisher half of all the events and stuff. I know that it seemed just more like they're setting up Iron Fist or something. Just like the whole ninja thing. I can't remember Nobu. He's back or something and now he's dead. It's really... I don't know how he survived the first season. But apparently he did because ninjas. <laughs> because ninjas the best excuse ever. But he was pretty good. It's just... The story just seems more like a setup for Iron Fist after they announced... Um, Oh, what's his name from Game of Thrones? He's going to be playing him. Ah, oh, that's going to annoy me. I think it's Marjorie's brother. I think it's that one. I can't really remember. But it just seemed more like we were setting him up more. But it was just a bit, eh. Like I, like I said, I would have loved to see the end of a Punisher story. Like I would have, I want to know, I think his name is Blackmail. I want to know more about the thing. I know someone in the comments will say, oh, it did actually tell you. Well, I didn't pick that up, but I really want to know more about that story. I want to see where the Punisher goes from here. I think we need to make a Punisher Netflix show. That'd be amazing. Now, another thing I look for in a good show or film is cinematography. I love it when they use really nice, like, shots and stuff. And Daredevil has loads of them. Like, I mean, it's symmetrical, the symmetry. Like, just how a little shot can imply something. I did notice as well, it uses a bit of shaky cam, which I really like. Like, it just works with the thing. Like, normally you'd think, oh, massive set and stuff. But no, it had a little shaky cam. It was quite, it was like just a little nice little touch. Like, if you notice, like, if you were looking for it, you would have noticed. But, I mean, some of the shots were just amazing. Like, I don't even know how some of them pulled it off. I mean, I did notice as well, at one point, they followed the 180 degree rule, which I really... <laughs> Like, because a lot of shows just kind of miss that and, like, just cut to a different thing. It's just like, yeah, I like how they used that as well. And the fight scenes were amazing again. You can't, whatever you can say about a director, he knows how to direct fight scenes. Like, these are some of the best fight scenes I've ever seen in a TV show. And it just, the thing is, it just looks so realistic. I mean, when you compare, no offense to, like, Arrow and stuff, but it doesn't look as realistic in Arrow or Flash. Well, Flash definitely doesn't because it's all CG, but... Daredevil does a good job of making it look very realistic. It is really, really good. So, in conclusion, Daredevil is a really good show. I highly rec recommend it to anyone who enjoys like Marvel comics or anything. Start watching it. Because, I mean, you can just get all the episodes instantly. I know it sounds like a promotion now. But Netflix really know what they're doing with it. I mean, the Netflix universe is so much better than what the other Marvel shows are doing Agent Carter and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are not as interesting. The Netflix stuff is way, is the way to go. It's just really, really good. So, what's the room's verdict for this? Um, I know most of my reviews give this, but I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Because, like I said, it was really good, but it had a few little nitpicks. And this is just a personal opinion as well. So, if you don't like it, tell me why I'm wrong in the comments. Or... Something like that. Maybe I'm just an idiot or something. Oh, apparently my opinion is invalid. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this review. Like I said, 7 out of 10. Really worth a watch. And I will catch you all in the next video.